Hi, honeys. It's Michelle. I'm going to be putting together my haunted mansion, the Halloween decoration that was inspired by Bethany. I will link her video down in the description box. I don't even remember exactly what the mansion that she <laughs> made look like when I watched the video, but um, I kind of wanted to make it my own and I looked at a few different images of mansions and um, I, I just kind of did a little drawing here of what I want my mansion to look like. It's not going to look just like this. I can guarantee you that already. I've made enough things over the years to know that things never turn out exactly the way that I want them to or think they should. But um, I'm going to be putting this together today. I've got a Halloween playlist that I'm going to be listening to. I've got some some coffee in my uh, Seattle mug that uh, that my dad got me uh, one time when I was out visiting him, and I've got this amazing, nice, thick. What do you call these? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it's the ruler that has a right angle on it, and. This is actually one that we got at a garage sale, I guess for $3. Um, it's made out of really strong metal. I'd almost think this is vintage or something with how thick and strong and durable this thing is. Cause they just, I don't see stuff like this ever. Not this nice. It says Stanley number 100 B made in the USA. And they do not make things like this anymore, sadly. So I'm gonna use this on my black foam board and try to draw out my mansion with my pencil. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, I do apologize for not looking more done up and cute like so many YouTubers do, but I'm not really here to be cute or to um, Put my best foot forward all the time looks wise I'm here to connect with you and this is the day that I want to put this together and I wanted to show you putting it together not how cute I can look with certain kinds of makeup or whatever you know what I mean like that's such a small part of why I'm here so if or it's such a small part of who I am right who we all are our looks and things like that. but also, I don't feel good today. I was supposed to go to the gym with Brad. There was this uh, boot camp thing we were gonna do. And I have been struggling, I guess you would say, yeah, struggling pretty much my whole life with my stomach problems. And boy, I just am not of the ability to go work out today. I want to, but I need to be near my bathroom. <laughs> Oh, and I've also got a candle burning right here. This, it smells amazing. This apple spice cider candle. And this is from um, Hobby Lobby. I don't know if they still have these. I haven't bought any candles in a while. I bought so many when they had them buy one, get one half off at one point that I'm stocked up for quite a while. And my mom sent me all of her Bath and Body Works candles. Um, so I've got those too. I have so many. And I've got this new one that I got at Walmart that is in a Walmart haul. I don't know. Oh, it smells amazing. I don't know if you've seen that video or not yet. I don't know if I've posted it yet, but it's apple fritters and it, it smells so good. So when the one that's burning is all the way burnt through, I'm going to start burning this one. I had got this a set of craft needles, which I need to figure out how to store these because I it doesn't have a top, but I got the set of utility knives and then I got the rollers roller cutter. I haven't tried the roller cutter yet, but um, I've been using this utility knife and this seems to be working really well at mostly straight cutting this. I, I found that these craft knives um, we're a little more jagged as far as the cut on this kind of board, but the, this utility knife, it's just nice and easy to just cut it straight. So 
I had to change the size. I was going to have it be the size of this whole board, and then I realized by the time it's done, it would be too tall where I'm trying to put it. I ended up switching back to this one. <laughs> the only thing is this does a cleaner line, but the this keeps going up and down like this the whole time. Because I guess it's just, you know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I'm pushing too hard. I don't know. But so now I'm back to this one again. <laughs> I keep worrying about things not being um, even or straight, but then I'm thinking, no, this is supposed to be an old crooked haunted house. It's not supposed to be. <laughs> it's not gonna be an ar architectural digest and uh, nobody's actually gonna live here, so it's okay. <laughs> so here's how, oh, how it's coming together now. It stands up on its own now. That's kind of cool, huh? It look, kind of reminds me of like a little movie set for Barbies or something. I guess I can paint the door or not paint it, but... So the door, I was going to glue the detail of the door on here. So I guess I could do that before I continue with the rest of the house.
here's the house. Um, it's going to have to be finished at another time. I've run out of um, hot glue. I'm super happy with this door. Um, it's very shanty. Very, uh, it's really falling apart looking. <laughs> so I guess maybe it does go hand in hand with, oh, we got Sleeping Zelda over there. It does go hand in hand with what I would picture a haunted house to look like. And I don't know, like, all these little openings, like in the roof and stuff. It's like, I want to fix it, but then I'm thinking, well, wouldn't an old haunted house that's falling apart look like that, though? We have discovered that Olive's, Olive loves round ice cubes. <laughs> she, she likes to play with them and chew on them, and it's just... <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? I'm drinking my pumpkin spice coffee. Sorry, my home is a complete wreck, but look at, look at her. Look at Olive, she's playing with her new cow and she loves her so much. Go pull her apart. I probably shouldn't tell her how to play with her toys, but as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff all over in the living room. We've been taking all the Halloween stuff out and then putting the other stuff in the Halloween boxes, and it's just kind of a mess. Anyway, uh, so here's the house. What I ended up doing was painting all the white foamy parts black and now I'm going to take the edge of a box like this and put green paint on it and put that in all of these I don't know what you call these you know the little frame thingies in a window and then on the outside I'm going to paint it full green and then the front door I'm going to paint green as well and that's all I'm going to do at this point because I, I don't have any more hot uh, hot gun glue and when I went I went well you probably see that video eventually I don't think it's up yet when you're watching this but I went to the Dollar Tree and the grocery store today and they didn't have at the Dollar Tree they didn't have the size glue that I need which I thought for sure they would have that size because that's the size glue guns they sell or the little ones but they didn't and I'm so tired of having to go to more places do you get like that I, I don't want to go to another store like I'm <laughs> I feel like I'm never at home anymore so I don't really want to do a bunch of stops like I used to I'm just being honest anyway so I'm gonna finish this um, and I'm just going to accept how it looks. Like, I'm not going to let myself... Because I always beat myself up for things not looking cuter than they do. <laughs> when I make them. It's just something that I do. Uh, so I've made a decision. I'm not going to allow myself to get upset if something doesn't look the way I want it to. <laughs> side of the windows done and then I've got the outside of one done just so you can kind of see what it'll end up looking like. So this will just be kind of a fun house I think and then like I said I'm going to paint the door green too so it's all just black and green with lights on inside and there's going to be two little kids out front running around. I mean you probably didn't come here to look at my dog but you did. You, you just didn't know it. <laughs> Look at how she's sitting. I think it's so cute. 
She does it a lot. Huh? <laughs> you do it a lot. Cause you're cute. Cause you're cute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you happy? Do we make you happy? I hope you're happy. Oh my gosh, we're having so much fun getting ready for our first Halloween together. Huh? First Halloween with puppy. I'm gonna get you a costume. <laughs> Look at the cute little paw going out there. I'm gonna get you a costume. And we're gonna take you for all kinds of fun, fall enjoyment. I don't know what yet, but we'll figure it out. There's gotta be some cool neighborhoods to drive around and look at decorations and stuff. We were telling her at Christmas, we're gonna drive around and show her lights all over the place. And I, I wonder, there's gotta be neighborhoods that are super Halloween decorated that she would love. What are you smelling? The dirty dish magnet? So I don't know if you just saw a tail go by, but we have the cats out now and Olive is taking her nap. We, I'm sure you're wondering if they've met yet. I mean, kind of. Basically, the cats have expressed that they don't really want to meet her. <laughs> so we just keep them separate. And um, I don't know, it's working for us. I know it sounds really weird to people, but at the end of the day, the cats are going to tell us what they're comfortable with. And if they're not comfortable um, hanging out with all of them, we're not going to make them. I'm done with the house. There it is. <laughs> with a cat in the back. That's Marty. <laughs> but yeah, so what I ended up doing was painting the door. And then with that box method um, I ended up touching up the door with some white paint as well just to kind of make it match these little areas here and what you do you just this is an, an old Amazon box I just cut up a little piece of it and I I, I like to use a um, cotton swab I just rub the cotton swab on this with the paint. I use the, the paint that's in the lid. I can shake it up, take the top off, and then I swipe it on the top with the cotton swab on here. And that's that's how I get that look. If you're gonna make anything where you want that look. <laughs> also, so I decided to have a snack. And this is junkless cinnamon roll. It's a chewy granola bar and it says no fake stuff. Only six grams of sugar contains a hundred percent whole grain oats, non-GMO, no corn syrup, no hydrogenated oils, no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. Well, I always look at the ingredients when I hear that because I I've lost count how many times something says on the front, no corn syrup, and then you look on the back and there's corn syrup in it. I don't know if what they meant to say was no corn syrup in the first two ingredients or what, but blatant lies I have seen multiple times now, which is really disturbing. This tastes like a Cinnabon. It really does, except obviously it's not the same consistency, but the flavor It's delicious like Cinnabon without the fat and the calories. And without the high sugar too. I mean, this is a lot healthier than a Cinnabon would be. And Brad and I were just saying, we wish we could eat Cinnabons because we love them and miss them. And this is a good way to get that fixed without actually eating one. That is it for this vlog style DIY. Let me know if you enjoy this style. 
and um, I hope you like my mansion. <laughs> it's a weird sentence for me to say it because I'll never live in a mansion, but I hope you enjoyed this mansion. And um, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Let me know if you've been making any Halloween stuff like this. And I was thinking, let me know if you want to see it. I was thinking about maybe making out of foam board for Christmas a gingerbread house. So if you want to see that, let me know. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll probably not do it or make it and just not film it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.